Hello children, welcome to Malaradi Memorial School Digital Classes. In the previous two chapters, uh, we have studied uh, about village life in the Krishna Delta and on the Telangana Plateau region. In this chapter, we will study village life in a very different region that is a village life on the hills. The name of the chapter is Penugolu, a village on the hills. Before going to discuss about the Penugolu village, let us uh, uh, briefly discuss about uh, Eastern Ghats. Telangana Plateau is a part of Deccan Plateau. We know, uh, we have discussed about this uh, in our uh, previous classes. Okay, Telangana Plateau is a part of Deccan Plateau and you can see that in the uh, picture. Yeah, this is the Deccan Plateau and this is the Telangana Plateau. So, uh, you can understand it easily by uh, seeing the picture. This Telangana Plateau is a part of Deccan Plateau and it is marked by Eastern Ghats on one corner. Telangana Plateau is uh, marked by Eastern Ghats on one corner. So, I will also show that in the picture. This is the Eastern Ghats and this is the Western Ghats. So, Eastern Ghats are, sorry, uh, Telangana Plateau is marked by Eastern Ghats on one corner. Here, this is the Eastern Ghats and uh, this is the Telangana Plateau. Uh, this is marked by Eastern Ghats here. Okay. So, Eastern Ghats are located on the eastern border of Jayashankar district. Eastern Ghats are located on the eastern border of Jayashankar Bhopalapalli. So, in Telangana, uh, we can see uh, this is the here. Here we can see uh, Jayashankar Bhopalapalli district. So, to the east side of uh, Jayashankar Bhopalapalli district, we can see Eastern Ghats. Okay. And the hill ranges in Telangana are part of the Western Ghats. So, we can see uh, hill ranges on the Western Ghats. Okay. So, this is all about the Eastern Ghats. Most of the people uh, living in the hills belong to the different tribal communities okay there are people some people who live in the uh, hills uh, they have some uh, different uh, tribal communities okay so uh, they are sarawa konda gadaba gond mannedora mukadora and koya these are all the different tribal communities uh, who are living in the hills these people have their own culture. All these uh, Sarawa, Konda, Gadaba, Gond, Mannedora, Mukadora, Koya. They have their own culture. Okay. And these people have their unique and own culture. Okay. Many of these uh, communities uh, depend on collecting forest producers and uh, hunting for their livelihood. And they have vast and deep knowledge about this region, the forest and its products. But these communities face many problems today that are threatening their life, threatening their way of life. We would discuss some of these issues in this chapter. Penugolu, a village on the hills. Let us discuss what are the threatenings that these village people are facing. Penugolu village is in Vajiru Mandal is on the hills that are on the banks of the Godavari river. Penugolu village is in Vajidu Mandal and it is on the hills. Okay, and also on the uh, 
banks of river godavari you can see that in the picture yeah, this is the penugolu village and uh, this is the river godavari okay it is on the banks of river godavari the community that live here are koya it means the people uh, who are living here are koyas okay so koya means a good person living on the hills koya means a good person living on the hills they speak koya language koya people live, uh, speak koya language this community is spread out on the hills up to the surrounding states such as odisha chatisgarh and andhra pradesh this uh, tribal community or koya people spread around the uh, odisha chatisgarh and andhra pradesh states at the same time many koyas have migrated away from the hills and now live in adilabad karimnagar warangal and some parts of the east godavari district they also migrated to this uh, districts uh, called adilabad karimnagar parangal and east godavari in andhra pradesh they are not speaking koya language now they adopted telugu language yes the because uh, this because they are living with the people who are speaking telugu that's why they adopted telugu language and they forgot their mother tongue koya penugolu village is surrounded by hills it means guttal okay the exact location we are discussing now so penugolu village is surrounded by hills we can also call it as guttalu so uh, in the north side let us see what is that karregutta or nallagutta chatisgarh in the north side of the penugolu village vankamamidi gutta in the south side vankamamidi gutta is in the south side of the penugolu village kallukuntala gutta in the east side we can see kallukuntala gutta in the east side of penugolu village chinna kumara lanka pedda kumara lanka in the west side in the west side we can see these two kumara lankas chinna kumara lanka and pedda kumara lanka Vajiru situated on the junction of the stream Nalandevi Vagu. Oh, coming to the Vajiru Mandal. So this Vajiru Mandal you can see in the picture here and it is uh, uh, at the junction. Junction of the Nalandevi Vagu. Okay, here uh, it is Nalandevi Vagu. It flows down from north and joins the Godavari. The Nalandevi Vagu flows down from north. it flows from north yeah this is the north direction it flows from north and it joins in the godavari river we can see famous bogata waterfall near chikupalli on the way okay when we go to the uh, pinmakuru village we can see a uh, famous bogata waterfall near chikupalli okay so when we climb at the hills we can see clear land yes where these village is on the hills and when we climb at the hills we can see clear land okay these cleared lands are the fields of pengolu people okay they have a, uh, cut down this forest and they clear the land and that land is of the fields of pengolu farmers these fields were on the slopes we can see these fields on the slopes of the hills they were not very fertile they were plenty of stones and pebbles and these fields are red soils all the fields in penugolu are in red soil and penugolu village is located 20 kilometers away from mandal headquarters at wajedu penugolu village is located 20 kilometers away from mandal headquarter their mandal headquarter is wajed yes we have discussed in the early year of the video okay so children this is all about the penugolu village where it is located and what are the uh, language they are speaking and how many types of people they are living there okay so let us discuss of the agriculture in penugolu village in our next video
थैंक यू चिल्ड्रन हैव ए नाइस डे